Uh, hello everyone, my name is Rajesh Sampath Kumar. I'm a design and manufacturing professional. Around seven years of experience uh, over uh, the automotive, aerospace and industrial products, uh, fluid machinery industries. Uh, my introduction to Six Sigma and quality methods began pretty early. My first job I had um, an introduction to uh, defects per thousand, uh, first pass yield and similar metrics uh, when I worked on a production job. And in this uh, area I also learned about the seven QC tools. So I um, learned about how to analyze uh, data at, at a basic level. Um, on my second job I was a design engineer and here I was working primarily with uh, the aerospace design um, clients and uh, the, the, the initial work was conceptual design with a multidisciplinary approach. So we'd look at uh, different aspects of aircraft performance and structures and come up with a good design. Uh, this gave me a footing in tools like DFMEA and uh, uh, you know other methods of uh, analyzing uh, markets and determining what the uh, client expectations are in, in case of different products. Uh, subsequently, uh, my work with two Fortune 500 uh, corporations involved um, improving um, uh, manufacturing and engineering processes. At these Fortune 500 companies, I was um, working in engineering and um, manufacturing process improvement projects. Uh, and on one of the process improvement projects for manufacturing, we used uh, the line balancing tools to improve the, uh, the cycle time of the entire product. And we also used uh, Pokoyoke methods in eliminating non-value non added time in uh, many of the jigs and fixtures uh, related assembly processes. In the design um, arena, basically we've used engineering uh, lean principles to improve the cycle time of uh, uh, value stream based companies. Uh, there was this particular client that I was working with in which uh, there were different value streams catering to different uh, product lines. And in these uh, different product lines, you'd have the engineering one phase, the preliminary engineering phase, and you'd have the engineering two, which is the detail engineering phase. And in these uh, two different phases, the, uh, the content of work was differing based on the uh, information that was coming from the client. So in our lean uh, focused uh, projects, we tried to uh, eliminate non-value added time by uh, looking at the inputs that were coming to these uh, teams and trying to optimize the inputs so that the best process possible um, was implemented in the E1 and E2 phases. Now, in a similar effort for engineering lean for product development, we uh, helped improve product configurators. Uh, product configurators are basically pieces of software that you can use to automatically create bills of materials for configured products. Uh, for many companies building uh, products on a, on a mass scale, it, this is very important. And in the engineering lean uh, area, this is a area that's that's gaining ground. Product configurators are becoming more and more important. So, we optimize a product configurator to, redu to reduce the number of errors in uh, builds of materials which are created automatically. And uh, this really helped reduce the cycle time. Um, in one case, in one particular product, it helped reduce the cycle time for creating a bill of materials from 22 hours to like a few seconds for creating builds of materials. So it was a significant improvement for the team and a significant cost saving and manpower saving. Uh, it wasn't until I uh, joined Benchmark Six Sigma's uh, Greenbelt training program that I realized the power of the DMASC approach. Before I used to know about the DMASC approach, but not in a not as rigorously applied to um, you know different organizations. Uh, here I got a chance to meet uh, people from different industries, and I got to learn uh, a lot about the different tools and techniques used in uh, the measure and analyze phases, which were very critical for uh, turning out a good project. Um, continuing this journey into the Black Belt uh, program at Benchmark, I realized the power of advanced methods like design of experiments and uh, some of the advanced hypothesis testing methodologies. Now, all this uh, made me realize um, that uh, Six Sigma itself uh, is a methodology that can be applied to industries very successfully and that there are a lot of opportunities uh, for improving processes in different industries. I hope to continue my journey forward by um, doing research in one, one, one or two areas of uh, product design and engineering and probably also manufacturing engineering. Uh, some of the um, aspects that I'm looking at uh, in, this, uh, in this endeavor would be the use of robust design optimization algorithms for improving manufacturing and design uh, processes and methods. And I'm also looking at how um, I can continue this journey in Six Sigma forward with a master black belt. Uh, this will give me the confidence to apply the tools and techniques that are uh, in the Six Sigma BOK and uh, hopefully apply that to successful projects in industries everywhere. Um, I want to thank Benchmark Six Sigma for the, for the great training. Uh, they have a really uh, good team that 
uh, is a very knowledgeable uh, team with experience in different areas and uh, the experience uh, overall has been fantastic uh, we've got some very lucid course notes we've got very good instructors we've got a very good peer group that's chosen according to industry so all these uh, make the program stand out um, so uh, that's how that's a, a little about me and what i plan to do and why i came to benchmark thank you